because I always hate these these sad anniversaries because it it not really we supposed to be celebrate well we all celebrate in day life but it's not it's not in the way that we should be you know what I'm saying and mm. you know um man it, this this was definitely a blow because like I remember that day I remember like. It was it was I wanna say it was like five, maybe five in the afternoon. And I I told I'm trying to I'm trying to remember how I found out. I, I think I think my mom had called me. And it was five in the afternoon and I and I I turned I was still listening to the radio back then and, and I turned on Hot ninety seven. She said turn on the radio. And I turned on the radio and I heard Angie crying, Angie Martinez and she was um and again like i've heard angie cry before and i know when angie cry on the radio somebody is is dead because it happened when when biggie passed away i remember hearing her cry on the on the air when um freaky ty passed away the same thing happened and and with and with with punisher with big pun you know he he um when he had he he passed away on on this day unfortunately and but you know um February seventh, back uh, two thousand, and I remember hearing Angie cry on the radio, and I was like, "Oh man, not pun," you know what I'm saying? Like at the height of his career, and, and um, he had a he had a heart attack, and the, the crazy thing is, the night before, he was supposed to be performing on Saturday Night Live with Fat Joe and Jennifer Lopez, oh, wow. but he, he canceled due to illness, and then two days later, he um passes away. He was at a hotel with family, and he and he um. He had a heart attack and then um and res- respiratory failure, and by the time they took him to the hospital, he was already gone. And and I remember, I was like, yo, that was a big shock. And and um, I remember the news like being out in the Bronx and and people was crying and talking about, you know, um the the memories they had of him. And um, I remember the the funeral. And um, it was it was just a sad thing. I remember, and then I remember, I remember when when uh. When uh year baby drop, when that dropped in, I think that was April of that same um uh year, and I bought that off of Amazon. I think that, I I want to say that's like my the very first time I used Amazon, cause I don't remember getting anything from Amazon before two thousand, but I might be wrong. But that's the that's the like early like memories of 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 using Amazon to buy like games and CDs and stuff, and that was like one of my first ones I remember getting from Amazon, and um that was that was hard. Because I I really didn't expect that, but he was he was I mean we knew he was big, but we've had other big rappers in the past. We've had Chub Rock, we've right. had Biggie, you know, uh, um, Heavy D, you know what I'm saying? And, and and two of those artists didn't die from weight loss, you know what I'm saying? And and it was just it was it was just a blow to hip hop and and and. and you know, when you grow up with these artists, you, you feel like they become like a part of your family, and you feel like you know them. And it's like, yo, it's like a they, they become like one of your own family members. And it was like just a, a, a blow to you know the people's psyche and everything. You know, you know, uh, uh just even and I've and I've seen Pun live. I've, the only time I've seen Pun was with Fat Joe, you know what I'm saying? And he was he was still known as the Punisher. He wasn't even known as Big Pun or you know what I'm saying? And and um I remember him uh, uh performing Firewater with Fat Joe and Armageddon and it was it was just crazy. You know what I'm saying? And and I, I wanted to definitely, you know, with the recent passings of, of MF Doom and and um, you know, I wanted to definitely um Put put like salute more of these artists that we fall in, you know, like Big Pun and Dilla, and especially this month. This month is like a lot of unfortunate deaths that happen in in, in black music. Whitney Houston, you know what I'm saying? And, and um, I, I'm like, you know, like we got to do like top five songs of Pun because this is, you know, I, I you know I, I I don't I didn't really I've never really talked about a Pun album or anything. So I'm like, yo, we gotta definitely talk about like like top five pun songs of all time, cause he he got classics for it, for his short period of time on this planet, and you know um you know like like I re- I remember like like when pun first came out, like I said like just talking when we did the loud discussion like that 
you know, the 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 buzz for capital punishment was crazy. And you know, him him being the first Latino rapper, like it, it meant something. And I'm not Latino, but it meant something to hip hop in general, not just the Latin community. And 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 being, you know, I I took pride in that too. Like just seeing a Latino rapper go platinum and, and putting, you know, the Latin heritage and culture you know, out there in the forefront for for hip hop when it really wasn't represented right. Like we had Fat Joe, but Fat Joe wasn't. He was more underground to us than than mainstream. You know what I'm saying? And and not like how he is now, but you know, Pun Pun definitely did it from the from you know started you know from the bottom and working his way up to the top and and being successful and and it meant a lot to hip hop and and um you know there'll there'll never be another one so. Yeah, I was like, yo, like I gotta do, I gotta do top five because it, he had so many bangers, and I do, I definitely got a lot of classic pun songs. So for me, like my first, my my number five will be, um, what's my number five? Number five will be, um, one hundred percent for okay. the 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 Year Baby album. I love the the again, I love the beat and the whole vibe and sound that he had for for Latin America on that song. It sounds like one of them salsa tracks and having Tony Sunshine on the chorus. And you got like the little flutes. I love the way that it starts off with the flutes and just the beat. It's just a dope song. And I remember them playing it at um the Puerto Rican Day Parade when um I believe uh, when uh, Terror Squad was there. And um it might have been not not no, nah, I don't think it was that year. It might have been yeah, I know I know Pun was on the float for for one, the I think it was the Hot 97 um um van um the Hot 97 um um float for um the Puerto Rican Day Parade maybe it might have been 99 but um when yeah when when him and Terror Squad was on there and, and um it was that was a great that was a great thing for hip hop and and um you know it, it just had that vibe and and I liked the um the video for it and just a great song and and one of my favorites off of that second album. That's a very dope choice, man. Very dope choice. Um, my number five is Punish Me. I'll of course. I knew you was going to pick that. I was like, I know when I, I got this in mind, Reggie's going to pick Punish Me. For some reason, I thought I knew he was going to pick that. Of course. <laughs> You're the only one I know that likes the song. <laughs> There's a lot of people that love the song, so really? you'd be surprised. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm going to have to play this song again because from when I remember it, it wasn't that great, so... Uh, <laughs> like a, you know me i'm mm -hmm. not like I, I like a few hip-hop love songs but right. punish me was just it was you it was unique for punish something that because it was still lyrical but yeah it was like still lyrical it's like some of the metaphors that he was using right was dope too and pretty much it was just like um miss jones like that come back come back that chorus and shit um I fucking love it. It's like one of my favorite tracks off Capital Punishment. Um, that's a punishment. You know, try don't like that track. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were funny, yo. Um, yeah, so um, my my number my number four would be the 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 collab he did with um Inspector Deck and Prodigy. Rest in peace to him, Trez Trez Leches. I believe I believe uh, it's it's it uh, it means three milks in in English if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken and it's also it's also the name of a cake in Spanish and like to have like pun and deck and prodigy on Came my, my bad. What 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 what's the last part you heard me say? The part where pun and prodigy. Oh yeah, but yeah, to have to have um big pun and 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 Inspector Deck and Prodigy over RZA track and RZA was still in his bag at that time was it just it was just an epic song and and um man like like I think all of them killed it and I like the way that they you had also you also had Rock Raider DJ Rock Raider on the scratches and I like the way that they started off that track with like the the rock him sample wake you up and and as I stare in your face you seem stunned I love that joint and 
Prodigy killing it and he's saying, yo, disperse him off this. Who the culprits that claim to be the newest rapping bullshit? My rhymes get Ruger endorsements. My song boosts intersect sales through the ceiling. Let's talk Ooh. guns, convo till the police come. Man, he was killing that shit. He was killing that. Pun killed it. Um, um, Deck did his thing, of course. You know how much I love Deck. I think he's uh, severely underrated. And, and, pun, and Pun was like, you know, yo, um, uh, 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 Prodigy, Deck, and me, the Bronx uh, and QB, Bronx Trilogy, lyrically hazardous for your wealth, swing on your world, your world's peace. For your plans, boy, your gram, sake your shine. Fall all your hands, spoil your mans, make make your mind. And just crazy, crazy bars. Definitely um, my favorite, one of my favorite songs on Capital Punishment, like top three, definitely. And I think it's a severely yeah. underrated collab. And um, yeah, I, I want to say it's the best collab with 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 Big Pun, like at least for his own for his own album, like not not outside of um the two albums, but for his own album, I think it's his best collab. Yeah, that's my that's my number four. That's what's up. My number four is one hundred percent featuring Donnell James, Donnell Jones, excuse me. Yeah. Um, very 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 dope track. Uh, this is actually one of the few songs I remember from Year Baby, and this track right here, um, it's so hard. We had that like that early. You said what? It's so hard. You, you said with Donald Jones, it's so hard. It's so hard. Me. Yeah. Yeah. My fault. My fault. It's all good. <clears throat> yeah, this was a very dope joint right here. Um, Donald Jones, very underrated. In my opinion, don't know really get his props like that. Right. Um, I love the line when he says, "It's mine. I shine like money. That sound like a biggie. Fuck around my town, boogie down my city." I love that line. I also love when. He... Hold on, hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa! Fuck. This laptop slow as fuck. Hold on. <laughs> but yeah, while I'm pulling up the lyrics and shit. Yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah, definitely gotta talk about your baby and shit in the yes, future. Definitely. The line where he said, wear a vest for the killers, nothing less, cause it's real. In the big apple where it's quick to get your shit tackled. Definitely love that line and shit like that. Um yes. so yeah, that was um it's so hard off the year baby album. That was dope. Definitely one of my favorites. I love um my number three for me is the remix for I'm not a player, still not a player with Joe. Love that song. I think I think I want to say that the the remix is even better than the original, but I love the original too. I love the way that they they what was that the the Delphonics they used? Yeah, yeah. That the original was dope, but the remix with Joe put him made him a household name. Like I think that was a a brilliant plan to drop a remix with Joe, who was who was also an underrated singer at that point, it's still underrated in my opinion, and to have him on the chorus and. And, and have like it's like a whole new beat and a whole new vibe to the track but it's still like the same track but i think they took it up a notch with well he took it up a notch with this track and definitely um one of my favorites and and um everybody knows that song and you know the, the whole call and response body qua morena i love that love that track definitely a classic i never get tired of that and um yeah that that definitely have to be in my top five very dope track very dope track um my next track we got number three right yes okay yeah my number three is gonna be mm, you came up featuring noriega yes man this is another one of my favorite tracks probably my favorite single off this album um, I love that beat bag with the horns and la da 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 yes. da da da. Wow. Um, very dope joint. Like it definitely had like that black quotation feel to it. It's natural. So um, this whole fucking song was definitely pun. You know, just saying how much he came up, how much he's taking over the rap game and whatnot. Right. And yeah, I fucking love this song. Very 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 dope track. Yes, number two for me is Dream Shatterer from Capital Punishment, another dope track. I, I I remember hearing the um the OG version with um it was a different it was a different beat, but I think Black Robert took it for one of his joints 
from Life Story. And oh, wow. um, the the beat is different on Capital Punishment. But I think Joe, um, Joe, I think Pun killed it. And he said, um, hey, yo, I shattered dreams like Jordan assault and batter your team. Your squadron be bought from rap. And I'm carving my initials on your forehead. Like, fire, fire. Yes, really, my bad. Really gritty, really street um joint. Definitely enjoyed it. Well, probably one of the best um street um um tracks on Capital Punishment. But that's my number two. Yes, very very dope. Um, my number two is gonna be Prince of Discretion featuring Buster Rhymes. Oh, that's a dope one. Yes, that last track off. Yes. Capital Punishment. I like that. This is another track, just like. Capone and Noriega's driver's seat, where Buster only appears in the chorus and whatnot, don't drop a verse, and this is perfect beat for him to rip up on. But other than that, we got Big Pun doing his thing with this one, you know, so many quotables off this song. And when I so many quotables off, I love the line when he says, there it is, plain and simple, like nigga, my game is mental. Wow, slow niggas better show I blow their brains out in the temples. I'm into black and magical torture, romantic, romantic era. So I, I, I always love that line. I love the beat by um, Showbiz. Yes. Definitely did a thing on the beat. Um, yeah, yeah, man. And even though I wanted to do the verse, Busta mm-hmm. definitely, um, Handle his business with the ad libs and shit too. So, yeah. current of this question vibes, classic track. That was dope. I, I would have loved to hear Buster do a verse on that. He was only like on the chorus. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, that, was, that he was in his bag. That was that was what that was a uh, uh, ELE Buster at that point. Yep. Yeah. That would that would have been dope to hear Buster drop a verse on that. But that that's still a dope track to me. Number one for me is uh, D, uh, Twins, the Deep Cover ninety eight collab with fat joe this this to me i think I always felt like pun brought out the best in fat joe and it, and it's crazy because fat joe was out longer than him but i always felt like anytime he collaborated with with pun he always brought out he always like showed his, his best stuff with, with pun to just to keep up with him lyrically and um you know they they I mean, just when you think Dre and snoop could flip that beat i think pun and and, and joe flipped it better and um the verse where pun is like um ready for war joe how how you want to blow this spot i know these dirty cops they'll get us in if we murder some wop and you know, k- killed it from the beginning then fat joe comes in and, and and he says it'll be it'll be a cold day in hell the day i take an l make no mistake for real i wouldn't hesitate to kill fire they just killed that deep cover beat and i felt like they did it better than snoop and, and dre and, and um yes definitely a classic joint man i i love the video with them uh, both wearing the um the rock and the, the camouflage jumpsuits and with, with the with the guns it was just just a, a dope track ironically that's my favorite track too yes classic yeah i've always preferred this version over Dre and snoop's original deep cover like nothing against that but right. pun was just made for this beat I, I think so yes i mean he just make a drop probably the best opening verse in hip-hop history yes the best 60 i mean <laughs> do i even have to like recite it and shit like that <laughs> i mean everyone should know this like yeah. like when I, when I first heard like that dead in the middle of little italy did we know Crazy. the reason like, when i first heard that shit, Crazy. i had to one three times literally because right. it was just like damn it was like damn he went in on that shit. like Dead in the middle of Little Italy, did we know that we fiddled two middlemen who didn't mm. do Disney? That, yeah. Mm. Um, and like you said, yeah, Pun brings up the best in Fat Joe. Yeah. Definitely, 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 definitely dope song. Love it. Must listen. This is one of the songs that really got him like, like that, you know what I'm saying? I wonder how Dre and Snip always felt about this track. I never. 
they they have to give they have to give pun his props because they they if they know that the the fans always felt like Fat Joe and, and Pun killed it better than them, they have to give them their props. You know? Right. <laughs> Straight like that, man. Definitely, definitely classic, classic, um classic songs from from a classic album. And this this one this one is for the Puerto Ricans. All the lot all of my Latin people, Puerto Ricans, whoever you are, Mexicans, Cubans, whoever you are, all the Latin people, this one is dedicated to y'all. I have to do this because I love Pun. He's a legend. Definitely should be on Mount Rushmore, Hall of Famer, all that. You know what I'm saying? First Latino rapper to go platinum. Definitely will be missed forever. So this this one's for y'all, man. All, all my Boricuas and my marinas, all all that, all my mommies, all all the poppies, all if, uh, this is all for this is for this is for the Latin people, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I love, I got I got a, a few Latin rappers that I love and I hold dear to my heart. So, I'm pun is one of them. Facts. You know. So yes, subscribe to the channel, comment down below. Let me know your your favorite uh, five pun pun songs and what's your favorite pun album. I'm sure people people gonna say uh, Capital Punishment, but if, if if people love yeah baby that's great too i thought that was a dope album we definitely me and reg are going to uh, cover that on his channel at some point so stay tuned for that yes, Bang Rap podcast salute peace rest in peace big fun yeah happy night bro yeah.